Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is, nope, they're making me do this. The scripture comes from 2 Samuel. Eight and ten. He sent his sons Joram to King David to greet him and congratulate him on his victory in battle over Hadadezer, who had been at war with two. Joram brought with him articles of silver and gold, of gold and of bronze. So here's the message for someone. Um, there is someone that either you know of this person or this is the person that's listening to this message. But this is somebody that is going through a situation where they are being offered as a prize to somebody. And, you know, I'm thinking what is coming to mind as I um, speak about this here is the situation um, where, you know, people are being put on blast for the kind of things they got going on in the music industry. And how certain persons were being offered up as like peace offerings and, you know, um, prizes for, you know, deals and how, you know what I'm saying, trafficking and things of that such. Things of that such. This is, this is kind of like someone um, is being used as, the, like this is a slave, basically. Someone is being used as a slave and they are being offered up to persons as a prize or as a um, payment and um for whoever this is for it's like you are you peeping that it's something ain't right you peeping that something is not some something ain't something ain't clicking i just feel like you you noticing that things are it's weird it's strange it's odd what's going on god said this is what's going on this person is being forced to perform um, sexual acts that they don't want to perform with people they don't want to perform these things with. And they are doing this because there is somebody that either got something on them or is somebody that is over them. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It's somebody that is kind of hanging something over their head and forcing them to do things they don't want to do. And you know what I'm saying? I think it, regardless if they receive a prize at the end or not, you know what I'm saying? This is somebody that is being trafficked. Long story short, and they are being trafficked. They are being used as like a prize, a reward for somebody. And, you know, I just feel like that, like that's literally, this is confirmation for somebody because you kind of been peeping some odd things going on with this person. And God is saying, this is what's going on. Regardless of if you are at first, maybe you saw this person as your spouse. You saw this person as somebody you wanted to be with and they just did not want to be with you for one reason or another. They kept on acting strange. Maybe they would lash out at you for no reason. They would break up with you for no reason. You have to understand that um, this person is basically being welcomed and opened up to all kinds of demons, all kind of evil spirits, because you have to know somebody that is willing to do something like that. You know, God says they're a sacrifice. Somebody that is willing to uh, lay down with somebody that they know don't want to lay down with them. They got some evil spirits, evil deities going on. Somebody that is willing to do something so heinous and so evil, they have evil spirits working in them. And once they do this act with that person, they are transferring these spirits to them. And it's kind of like, I feel like if you were really to look into it, every time something like this happens to that person, that's when they lash out at you. Every time something like this goes on, that's when they mad. They want to break up. They want to yell. They want to argue. They want to go off on you. And it's just, they like, it's, I just feel like God is saying they can't help it. They can't help it. Like they, they, they are literally, this is somebody that is walking sleep. They walk in, they talk in, they eyes wide open, but they sleep. And that's the only way I can describe it. And this may be a situation where this person been going on, dealing with this since childhood. This could be somebody that was born into some stuff that they did not agree to. 
and they just had to deal with it and they their way of dealing with it is just dealing with it um regardless to if they decided to accept that as their faith at not their faith at for some of them it is they accepted it as their faith i wasn't trying to say that as their faith and they just tell themselves that they'll never be married and they'll never have children and they'll never this and they'll never that. And they don't even take out the time, effort and energy to look at the idea that they could possibly just say no. They don't stop and think that they could fight back. They don't stop and think that there is a way out. You know what I'm saying? Because with situations like this here. I have received message after message after message about this. I have met people dealing with stuff like this. I have, you know, helped people dealing with stuff like this. When it really comes down to it, there are people that want to do things like that. There are people that like things like that. And you know what I'm saying? If that's the case, that, that's who they should go towards. Not trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's not right. But in reality, you know, trying to force somebody to do something they don't want is not fair. And I just feel like this person is not able to get a fair. They're not able to actually live their life the way they want to live their life and do the things they want to do because they are being forced into living a lifestyle they are not really interested in. They are being forced to do things they don't want to do. They are being forced to lay with people they don't want to lay down with. And when it comes down to it, God is, is taking, you know, God, God, his heart goes out to this part. This is somebody that God is concerned about their situation. God is concerned about what they're going through. Because it, what a pity and what a shame for this person to go throughout their whole life, not even being able to enjoy the life, not being able to enjoy the fruits of their labor, not being able to pursue their own dreams. This may be somebody that hasn't even had the opportunity to figure out what their dreams are. And that's not fair to them. God said when when it come down to it, this is somebody that is living their life for the pleasures of someone else. And you know what I'm saying? Even if it's a situation where this is somebody that is their elder, by the time this person go on to wherever they going, because I can't even say go on to glory, because if they doing this right here, nine out of 10, that's not where they going. And I'm just going to be real. But anywho, by the time this person go on to wherever they going to, you know what I'm saying? And God said the lake of fire. By the time they make it to the lake of fire, this person, you know what I'm saying, only going to have so much life to live. You know, and um, and it's kind of like they will be going into retirement. But in reality, what kind of retirement is that? If your entire life, you didn't waste it devoting yourself to somebody else that really don't care about you. Because if they did, they would take out the time, effort and energy to actually see if you actually like what you're doing. Are you actually interested in doing that? Do you really want to do that? And I just feel like God is saying when they come down, this is somebody that is devoted to somebody that's not devoted to them. They love somebody that don't love them. And yes, this could be a parent. Yes, this could be a family member. Yes, this could be a, a lifelong friend or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? There are some really wicked people in this world. And you would think that they have your best interests at heart, but they don't. They thinking about themselves. This is somebody... That is, you know, just thinking about going shopping and they thinking about going out to eat and they got to go on this vacation and that vacation. And I bet, you know, what I'm saying God is saying you can bet your bottom dollar that they're not inviting the person that is working for all of this to nothing. They don't get to do nothing. They don't they don't you know, what I'm saying only get a crumb. And when it come down to it, that is bad. Like, you know, what I'm saying that's evil. That's wicked. Anywho. That's the message for whoever this is for. God saying he just uh this is just to let you know what's going on with this person. Now when it come down to it, you know, um this is going to transpire for whoever this is for into God giving them the opportunity to have a way out. God is going to give them the opportunity to have a way out. Now if they take that way out, y'all, you know, what God makes clean is clean. However, if this person insists on staying and living their life and doing these things, then it is no longer a situation where they are being forced. It is now their choice. OK, and um, you free from that. But I do feel like for whoever this is for this to let you know what's going on and what's about to happen. God is going to get this person a way out. And regardless to what that may be, God may be taking the life of whoever this person is that's forcing them to do these things. It, and um, I'm just I, like, I, I, 
I'm just being real. God may be taking that person life. And uh, that may be, you know, if that's the way that the, the only way this person is going to be set free. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to you, you don't want to do that. I was just watching a show yesterday. Um, Savage Beauty on Netflix. Well, old dude was saying that it, it, it'll happen over his. You know what? You y'all already know that saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to repeat what he said. But baby, lo and behold, he was taking up baby, taking up out of there. And I'm saying that to say you got to be careful what you say. And this person, they may have that kind of vibe where they they feel like it, 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 they have to be six feet under in order for this person to be free. Baby, don't play with God like that because we already know when Pharaoh when Pharaoh had all that, you know what I'm saying, he was blowing smoke out his nose and, and with flames on top of his head about what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. And, and you know what I'm saying, all his entire army was washed away. All the... the interesting thing about that i was watching this historical piece this history piece and they said that all that stuff is still under the water right now yeah the all the, all the like you can see the the little chariots and all that still down there but anywho i'm just saying this to say god not playing god is not playing he is not playing when he says set my people free he's not playing and this is somebody they about to be set free they finna have the opportunity to be set. they're gonna be set free regardless now they have the option of going about and living their life in a godly manner and doing things the way that they want to do it and they also have the option of staying into that mess but that's gonna be up to them it's like you know what i'm saying that's gonna it'll be their choice it'll be their choice and you have to understand some people, they be so used to living a life a certain kind of way that they will stay in it. But um, God is saying it's going to be this person's choice. They not going to have no Pharaoh over their head. They, they not going to have somebody trying to force them to do things. And I'm even being reminded of how when God set them free, when God set the Hebrews free from the Egyptians, how they still were trying to hold on to some of the Egyptians' traditions and Egyptians' ways. It's that kind of vibe. God about to set this person free regardless. They they about to be set free. And if it's a, like I said, if it's a situation with somebody saying that they, they got to be up out of here in order for that person to be set free, baby, God said they, they don't, 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 don't hold his hand about it. But anywho, anywho, that person that, that person is about to be set free and that's is that's what it's gonna be that's what it's gonna be that person is gonna be set free and god is saying you know what i'm saying if somebody is trying to say that they gotta be taken up out of here in order for that person to be set free don't you know what i'm saying don't get in the way in between god and what he is doing don't do it don't do it don't do it don't do it that that may be the last uh that may be the last little rent that they have that may be the last little you know what i'm saying they, they that may be the like they last little speech you know what i'm saying just to be real but anywho um they have the option of either going ahead and living their life in a justified way and living their life righteously and they have the option of carrying on with these um traditions that they have going on but um they will be set free anyways that's the message y'all thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe deuces